Hey, this is Mr. Perez again. We're going to work more with lines. Okay, We are going to continue to write lines in slope-intercept form. That's y equals mx plus b. But we're going to be using um, some points and some other information. So anyway, let's make sure Charlie's ready to go. Hey, Charlie, how's it going? Negative 3 plus 2. You know, today we're going to do more lines. More lines? Is this going to be on the test? Is this going to be on the test? Yeah. Uh, no, Charlie, we're just doing this for fun. Um, we don't got nothing better to do. Of course it's going to be on the test. What? I suppose you want a take-home test, too. Sure, why not? Oh, yeah, you can all have take-home tests. You just get to take them home after I grade them. Oh, that's right, yeah. Yeah. I suppose you want one of those Scantron tests, too? Not in my class. I suppose you want a calculator. Or how about a 3 by 5 card? Not in this class. Anyway, let's get to work. We've got a lot of stuff to do. So here we go. Y equals mx plus b. Okay, that's what we're going to be working with. So let's go ahead and uh, list our equation. So here's our equation of our line. Okay, now what we have to do is we got to write this equation in what we call the y equals mx plus b form, which is the slope intercept form, Charlie, which means we simply just got to solve for y. Okay, so Charlie, solve for y. What do we do first, Charlie? Subtract 3x from both sides. That's right. Subtract, Subtract negative three x. 3x from both sides. Bring down your line. Okay, don't forget. 3x. Subtract 3x gives you 0. So those are canceling out there, okay, to give you that 0. Okay. And then what's left on the left-hand side, Charlie? 2y. Two 2y. Two and the right-hand side is what? 6. Subtract 6 three minus 3x. Okay. Now, it is true that 2y equals 6 minus 3x, but remember, we're going for the y equals mx plus b form. So instead of writing 6x, 6, sorry, 6 minus 3x on the right hand side, we're going to use the commutative property for addition, and 6 subtract 3x is the same as what, Charlie? Negative 3x plus 6. Negative 3x plus 6. Very good. Okay. Now we got to solve for y. So what do we do, Charlie? Divide both sides by 2. We divide both sides by 2, which is the same as multiplying both sides by 1 half. And these are the techniques we are working on in class. So, if we multiply both sides by 1 half and we distribute that 1 half to the right hand side, you notice here, everything gets divided by 2. Okay? And this is the stuff we are working on in class. Again, if this is giving you a problem, uh, you can talk to your facilitator and tutor and see if we can get this straightened out. Okay? But get it straightened out before the test. Okay, Charlie, so now, what happens now, Charlie? Can you tell me what y equals? Negative 3 halves x plus 3. Very nice, Charlie, that's it. You just circle your answer and you're done. See, that's not too bad, is it, Charlie? That's right, okay, so we like this form because, okay, remember, this is y equals mx plus b form. So, Charlie, what's that slope? Negative 3 halves. Negative 3 halves. Now, <coughs> what's the b value up there? 3. The b value is 3, so that means the coordinates of the y-intercept is equal to what, Charlie? 0, 3. 0, 3. Remember, any point that lies on the y-axis has the x-coordinate 0, okay? So 0, 3 is the y-intercept. Very nice. Let's do another one. Woohoo! Okay, here we go. 2x minus 3y equals 7. Okay, Charlie, we're solving for y. What's our first step, Charlie? Subtract 2x on both sides. That's right, subtract 2x from both sides so that 2x minus 2x is 0, so those will cancel out, leaving you with what on the left-hand side, Charlie? Negative 3y. Negative 3y, and what's on the right-hand side? 7 subtract 7 2x. minus 2x. Very good. We're moving very quickly now, because we're good. Anyway, let's go on, Charlie. So now, we're not going to leave it as 7 minus 2x. We're going to use the commutative property, commutative property. And 7 minus 2x is the same as what, Charlie? Negative 2x plus 7. Negative 2x plus 7. Very good. So now, we got to solve for y. So, Charlie, we're going to divide both sides by what? 3. Negative 3, Negative. which is the same as multiplying both sides by what, Charlie? Negative 1 third. Negative 1 third. So, there we go. And now, remember, when you distribute that, uh, to, that negative 1 third to each term there by the distributive property on the right, okay, Notice we get negative 3 under each term, okay? And now it's just a matter of canceling out and solving for y. So, Charlie, go ahead. Tell me what y equals. 2 thirds x subtract 7 thirds. 2 thirds x minus 7 thirds. Very nice, Charlie. Don't forget to 
circle your answer there. Okay, Charlie, so now we're in our y equals mx plus b form. Tell me the slope, Charlie. Two-thirds. Okay, there you go. It's two-thirds. And what's the b value? Negative seven-thirds. Negative seven over three. Very nice, Charlie. Okay, so what is the coordinates? What are the coordinates of the y-intercept, Charlie? Zero comma negative seven over three. Very good. Zero comma negative seven thirds. There we go. Okay, remember the y-intercept has the x-coordinate equal to zero. Okay, so there we go. Let's do another one. Let's take this one here. Negative four x plus five y equals negative two. Okay, Charlie, what do we do? Add 4x. Okay, this time we're going to add 4x to both sides, okay? So we add 4x, bring down your, <coughs> your bar, negative 4x, okay, plus 4x is what, Charlie? That's zero. a zero there. And what are you left with now? 5y. Okay, 5y equals negative 2 plus 4x. Need a pencil here. Okay, Charlie. So now, Charlie, by our commutative property, negative 2 plus 4x is the same as what, Charlie? 4x plus a negative 2. Okay, 4x plus a negative 2, which is exactly the same as 4x subtract 2. Now, remember, that's uh, from pre-algebra there, so we should be able to understand that. Okay. If, uh, well, let's move on here, Charlie. Now, we've got to solve for y, so we're going to do what to both sides, Charlie? Divide by 5. Divide by 5, which is the same as multiplying both sides by a 1 fifth. 1 over 5, right? Okay. Dividing by 5 is the same as multiplying by 1 over 5. All right. There we go. Now, remember, we distribute on that right-hand side, okay? And see, it looks like everything just gets put under, or you get a 5 gets placed under each term, okay? There we go. And so, Charlie, what does y equal? Go. Bust a move. 4 fifths x minus 2 fifths. Very nice, Charlie. Y equals 4 fifths x minus 2 fifths. There we go. Now, Charlie, what is the slope? 4 fifths. And what is the y-intercept? Negative 2 fifths. Oh, okay. B is negative 2 fifths, and the y-intercept is 0 comma negative 2 over 5. Very nice. And with that said, that completes this lecture. So anyway, oh, what fun. We're going to come back a little bit later and do some more lines, right? Charlie's favorite subject. Anyway, we'll see you again soon.